the bells, hear them bells, send us on his way. Get to you, get to me, reindeers in the sleigh. Hey y'all, hey, and welcome back to another video. This is Vlogmas Day 12. And you guys, I have moved this tree around three times. It was over there, then I moved it over here, and now it's in this corner. <sighs> um, yeah, it's it's been, I don't know you guys, it's just been really hard for me to get into the Christmas spirit. I was talking to my girlfriend Mary last night and I was just like, girl, I just, I'm not feeling it. And she was just like, you gotta feel it because you are the epitome of Christmas. I was like, okay, basically. So I said, all right, so today, play a little video, play a little video, girl, gotta play your videos. You gotta support yourself, girl, you gotta support yourself. <laughs> And so um, what I did was I just put a couple more things in. This video is just showing you how I how I am fragrancing my house right now. And um, if you, yeah. So um, so what I'm using to make the house smell good for Christmas is the Vanilla Being Noel from Bath and Body Works. I also have the Twisted Peppermint, and then I have the Under the Christmas Tree. This one it has like I think it's like mahogany in it. So it smells really masculine, so I'm not sure about this one. I wanna go back today and get one that smells exactly like a Christmas tree, like a balsam, because I really, I think I, I don't have the Christmas spirit because I don't smell tree. And um, last year, I had another um, Christmas tree um, one. Um, I had bought another one, but we used it completely up. Or either, I don't know, I think I may have misplaced it because this was the only one that I can find. So either we used it up or it's misplaced. But yeah, so this is how I fragrance the house. Yeah, so this is how, this is what I'm using to make the house smell good. They have many other fragrances, you guys. Um, Christmas scents, uh, vanillas, um, more like, um, I don't know what that is, like a, a candy apple and things of that nature. So if you go there, I'm sure you're gonna find a great scent to make your house smell like Christmas. And then I just put together this little vase with like Christmas ornaments. I got Santa. Um, the kids had got this for me when we went to that Christmas um, cause. Um, this was the gift that they chose for me. I think it's really cute. I love the lights. And you guys, it's gonna be time to start our advent calendar. So I'm so excited about that. I got my little Santa cup and some more Santas. Oh, you guys, I purchased this beautiful area rug from Ross. I'm so excited about it. The price was this. So with tax, it was probably like about almost like $139, which I was like, oh my God. But I did put that on the charge. And um, I just needed something to really tie the living room together. And I have a lot of stains, like red stains, stains that I can't, that my carpet cleaner will not get out. So I thought this rug would be a good idea to cover up some of the major stains. And then I could just kind of like work my way around the edges, okay? Don't say I ain't done it before because yeah, keeping the carpet clean with my children is a job in itself with snacking and things of that nature but yeah this rug we're gonna take care of this one and I can um it is like a real rug because the last um rug I got it was it was like a fur and it didn't last very long you drop something wet on there and it just turns into like little bitty balls but anyway this is a ponte carpet and it's this is the measurements gray this was a really good buy, you guys. I'm so excited. It's so luxurious and just, oh, I love the shag in this carpet. The kids love it. They were rolling on it for a couple of days. Uh-oh, see? This is what I'm talking about. This right here is like a no-go. Like, I don't know. I've been keeping them out of here, but I still see food on the carpet. And then, um, yeah, our little... Um, the baby's little play area, Coco, and then Royalty has his train set. Um, there's nowhere else to put it. I had to put it in here. I might be able to kind of maybe move it along to the side to not have it so far out, but yeah. And I have a little Santa up there, y'all. She didn't tour up my little, little buffet. Like, she put her hands on it, she put stickers on it, she drew on it. 
just everything. So I'm gonna, one of my projects is to bring this one back to life. So I'm gonna have to go over it and repaint it um, and everything like that, but it will be completed by Christmas. So this is a project that I will be working on. And then, like I said, I put the tree in this corner. So if you have any questions or concerns um, about making your house smell good or, um, yeah, so I just want to do a quick video because I'm a little behind, you guys. So I have the 13th video, but I had to do a 12. So just give you a little update on my Christmas setup and how I make my house smell good. Bath and body works, you guys. All right, y'all. See you on the next video. And you guys know the drill. Peace and chicken grease. Bye.